Hi, this is Jimmy Brown from Guitar World. Today I'm going to give you some helpful tuning and intonation tips. First and foremost, it always helps to have a fresh set of strings on because old strings, they get dented actually by the frets and they get corrosion and crut and sweat caked on them and it can give you a false reading and actually make your guitar go out of tune. And most importantly actually is to have your guitar set up properly by a professional, someone who knows what they're doing, local music store repair person, and uh, check your intonation. Intonation means the guitar being in tune with itself, okay? And the best way to do that is to compare your 12th fret harmonics with the fretted notes at the 12th fret. Sound pretty much the same, actually exactly the same. You want to, you can use electronic tuner to verify it. Look at the needle when it goes in the middle. So your low E, 12th fret harmonic, to play harmonic, I'm just lightly touching the string directly over the 12th fret and picking it and letting go. I'm not fretting it the way I would like behind the fret. So you're going to compare those two notes, E to that E. Same thing, A harmonic to the fretted A, D harmonic to D fretted, G harmonic to G fretted, B harmonic to B fretted, and then high E harmonic to high E. You could do this, play little chords, or compare that. So that's very important because if your guitar is not intonated properly, then you're going to have a tough time even using a tuner. I mean, everything could be showing up as being in tune on your tuner, but then you've got to play a chord and it sounds lousy. So if the string sound, if the fretted note sounds sharp of the harmonic, then it means the string needs to be lengthened. And you do that at the bridge. You take a screwdriver, depending on what style of guitar, either a hex key or a slight flat head screwdriver or Phillips head screwdriver and you push the bridge back until and you test it again until the harmonic and the fretted note match. You do that on all six strings. Sometimes they're not always going to be the same length. You're going to need to compensate. Typically the B string or the G string, it depends on whether it's a wound like an acoustic guitar or an unwound electric guitar. And uh, before you do that though, the guitar should be, the neck should be adjusted. So it's like straight or maybe with a slight upward tilt, ever so slight, never a back bow. And then um, make sure your action is where you want it, not too high because that's going to make all the strings turn sharp when you press down on them. So other helpful tuning tips are to use open chords as test chords. One of my favorites actually is this chord. It's all roots and fifths. It's E. It's E5. It's like a droning unison chord. So you got your, your fretted B on the D string's ninth fret and your open B. And then your fretted E on the G string's ninth fret. Another one is A, like this. It's like the rock A major chord, but then you're adding the pinky. It's a stacked power chord and a G, like that, D like this, D5. Another very helpful thing to do is, as you're tuning, kind of press down. I do this all the time. I press down on the strings between the pickups or over the sound hole if it's an acoustic, like a karate chop with my palm, and that'll take up any slack. If the string is hung up at the nut slightly, or in the tuning machines, it's always good to have your nut carefully, um, properly cleaned and lubricated too, so the strings don't get hung up there. That happens a lot of times if you have a whammy bar and you dive down and this is all dirty from sweat and grime, the strings will actually get hung up at the nut. So you need to address that actually, clean it and make sure it's properly lubricated. Probably best left to a professional to do that. But just pushing down like this really helps. Use all your test chords again and use a variety of tuning methods. The fifth fret method, You know, where you go to the fourth fret here on a G string and then back to the fifth fret. And then double check it by using the harmonics, the fifth fret harmonic versus the seventh fret harmonic. Same note, should be the same note. Same note. And then you can do seventh fret on the low E and then the open B, or you can seventh fret on the low E and then twelfth fret on the B. It's an octave higher, but it's easier to hear because it's they're both harmonics. 5th fret on the B string, 7th fret on high E. Also check your octaves. E, E, A, A, D, D, 
G, G, B, B. Now you could check your octaves in other ways too. Like you get this A note here. Compare that to, to that fretted A note. Or more simply, the low G to that G. Like when you're playing a G chord, listen to your three Gs. Now I can tell right away that my low string sounds slightly sharp. So bring it down slightly flat. Or a good thing is to tug on it a little bit instead of tuning it flat. And within that chord, I also have two Ds. I got three Gs. And I get the B here. If I'm playing this like folk G, I have two Bs. Okay, sounds pleasing. Same thing, you could take a C chord. You know you have three E's if you include that one. You ordinarily wouldn't, but in three octaves, you have two C's. Check your octaves there. And if you play the G note on the third fret of Louis string, you have two G's. So something sounds a little out there. I suspect it's my low string needs to come down a little bit to compensate for the finger pressure. You can also finger the C chord like this. So now you have two C's, two G's. Use chords like D5, and also check your octaves up and down neck. A, A, D, D, G, G. Do this. There's A, E, sorry. B, A, D. All your fifths to sound nice and tight and clear. And if, uh, if you're doing all that and still it's not sounding good, then you need to address the issues of your intonation and your guitar setup.